Hi, this is Mitch from TCS. The e-stop or emergency stop button on TCS throttles may come in handy when an operator needs to stop their train instantly. TCS offers a unique three-stage e-stop function that we will cover in this video. We will also look at configuring e-stop settings and some tips and tricks. Let's get started. The first stage of e-stop will stop the locomotive you currently have selected on your throttle. Pressing the e-stop button once brings the locomotive you have currently selected to a stop. The screen will display e-stop this logo. Notice the timer on the right side of the screen. Pressing the e-stop button before the timer runs out advances to the next e-stop stage. Pressing the e-stop button for a second time will stop all of the locomotives on your railroad. Now the screen says e-stop all locos. Just as before, there is a timer on the right side of the screen. Pressing the e-stop button before the timer runs out advances to stage 3. The third and final e-stop stage turns off track power on your entire layout. This is activated by pressing the e-stop button for a third time. Now the screen says e-stop layout off. Pushing e-stop after the timer has expired will allow you to release e-stop. This works for all three e-stop stages. After pushing e-stop to release, the throttle displays a message asking if you would like to resume the previous operation. Pressing yes will allow you to return to operating trains. Pressing no will keep you in the current e-stop state. You can enable or disable the different stages in the e-stop settings menu. Here is how to get there. First, press the menu button. Scroll to settings or press button 8. Next, select throttle settings or press button 1. Then, Find e-stop settings or press button 6. In this menu, you can select any one of the four options you would want to change. For example, I want to turn off stage 3, turning off track power. You would select that option in this menu, then select disable. Now when the e-stop button is pressed to stage 3, the track power will not turn off. The throttle will save the settings that you have selected. The TCS CS105 supports all three e-stop stages. Stage 1 is fully supported on all DCC systems when the throttle is connected via the Y throttle protocol. Connecting a throttle through an LNWI on Digitrax will support stages 1 and 3. Connecting a throttle through a Wi-Fi tracks module will only support stage 1. That is an overview of the unique three-stage e-stop function on TCS throttles. If you want to pick up your own TCS throttle that has this wonderful feature, visit your favorite dealer or order directly online at tcsdcc.com. Don't miss out on this exclusive and amazing TCS feature. Thanks for watching.